Hello folks, Robert from Marine Depot here and I'm really excited about this video because we're building a brand new aquarium here at our office, which means I get to put together a fun new video series to share with you guys. For this tank build, we've teamed up with Red Sea and we're going to be setting up one of the feature-rich Red Sea Reefer Deluxe 525 aquariums. In this first episode, we're going to go through the complete assembly of the aquarium and show you guys how Red Sea has really raised the bar for these all-in-one type aquarium solutions. Red Sea now offers a huge variety of all-in-one type aquarium packages. The original Max series tanks have all of the filtration built into the back of the tank, and the Reefer series tanks are considered reef ready and include an internal overflow box along with a sump for filtration down below the display tank. The Reefer series tanks are also available in a deluxe edition, which means they will include the very powerful Aqua Illumination brand LED light systems along with a stylish mounting bracket. As much as I love designing and building aquariums from the ground up, it's really nice to work with this Red Sea Reefer system because it eliminates some of the headache and forethought required when building a new tank. The systems provide you with a perfect platform to then customize and use your favorite brand name equipment. The tank will arrive at your door neatly packed on a pallet, so be sure to get some helping hands on delivery day. I asked Kelly and Manny to give me a hand assembling the tank. The first order of business is to assemble the tank stand. A Phillips head and flathead screwdriver are all you really need for tools. A handheld screwdriver is best for most of the connecting brackets, but an electric screwdriver really comes in handy for some of the hinges and door assembly. Be sure to thoroughly read through the assembly guide and count all of the hardware to ensure you have everything you need. From start to finish, it took us about two hours to completely assemble the tank stand. The stand is constructed of weatherproof epoxy coated panels, which makes for a really nice finish that will withstand the harsh saltwater spills and splashes. It measures just under three feet tall, which sets the display tank at a perfect viewing height. Next, we moved on to the display tank. The tank itself is constructed of thick, beveled edged, ultra clear glass, which really gives the tank that high end custom aquarium look and feel. The 525 model we have measures five feet long, is 22 inches tall, and 22 inches wide, which gives us a total of 108 US gallons of aquatic canvas to work with. The plumbing system on these tanks is incredibly easy and pretty hard to mess up. No gluing is required and all of the pipes simply twist into place for a leak-free seal. The tall internal overflow box skims water from the surface of the tank on all three sides for fast and effective filtering. The sump is really easy because it's completely assembled and all you have to do is slide it under the tank. The sump includes a couple of filter sock holders along with a gravity-fed ATO system. The spacious and simple design gives you the freedom to then install a variety of different filtration equipment. To get the lights mounted, you will need to put together the mounting arms and then attach the light fixture with a couple of screws. Assembly is easy and straightforward. Just be sure to hold the bracket and LED steady when attaching to the rim of the tank. Way back in 2014, I built an innovative marine SR80 aquarium here at the office. And this was actually one of the first video series I created for Marine Depot. Be sure to check out that build series if you haven't already because these innovative marine tanks are still very popular and we take you through the complete build from A to Z. Well, the time has come to finally retire the SR80 Aquarium. The fish and corals are really outgrowing the tank and I have a huge collection of frags that are begging for more real estate. We're going to do a complete transfer of the SR80 into our brand new Red Sea Reefer 525 Deluxe. Stay tuned for the next episode, which is when I'll do the big switch with all of the livestock and provide you guys with a few pointers for transferring your aquarium animals. I have plans to install a new calcium reactor, an algae reactor, an aquarium controller, and a few exciting surprises, so be sure to stick around for the entire series. I appreciate all of you for watching, and until next time, take care and happy reef keeping.